Again, as Quita said, it is dangerously hot. You want to take safety precautions as you head outside the next couple days. For some safety tips, let's toss it over to Hank Cavanero with a look at that. Q2. Yeah, Nathan, we're out here at the Mueller Farmers Mueller Market, Mueller and we Farmers uh, Market. expected a few doing? more people, but there's still quite a bit of people here with vendors yeah, that are ready to serve. Now, I wanted to show you this thermometer really quick. So about two minutes ago, it was around 98 degrees. It's already jumped up to 108, and that's just from standing in the sun. It is a whole lot hotter out here, but it doesn't matter how hot it was today. I met up with some people earlier who just wanted to be outside. Guys, jogging on over here, jogging on over here. It doesn't matter how high the Texas temps get. Short ropes are heavy, long ropes are light. So we want to try to go as quick as we can. You'll be sure to find some brave souls. Two, three. Working four. out in a parking lot? We are doing a CG Fitness and we're doing basket carries. Oh, we're out here all day, all here. I mean, we were born outside, so that's where we have to be. We have to be outside. This group in Round Rock is part of Camp Gladiator pushing them today. Whew, don't forget the ropes. Don't forget the tires over there. Paul Martin Benkowski. That's it, Tony. Nice and low. That's it. That's it. He thinks people just forget about the heat when they're out here. Because, I mean, it'll bother people at, at first, obviously, because it is hot. It is, but uh, we try to accommodate them with as much shade and water. I always tell them not to drink water. And three, two, one, guys. Let's kick it. Let's kick it. But for these hottest of days. Lots of water, wet towels. It's over before you know it. He makes it fun. Whew. Good job, Brandy. Good job. Good job. You got it, CC. All the way in, guys. All the way in. They also keep sunscreen out and make a point to get those extra water breaks. I love it. I love it. <laughs> because even in the Texas sun, they feel it's better to be outside. But it's not enough to keep people away. Um, now I have no idea how they were able to do that workout. I'm just standing here and you can probably see the sweat dripping off my face. Also, this thing's gone up another six degrees. So this is a good reminder. Know your body, know the what happens when you have heat exhaustion, heat stroke. We have a graphic on our website to explain that. And again, use sunscreen and drink plenty of water if you're gonna be outside over the next couple days in these extreme heats. And Mueller, Hank Cavanero, KVU News.